everybody, I'm Chris Booms and welcome to my video blog for Wednesday, July the 21st, 2010. Uh, if you visit my written blog, musingsofchrisbooms.blogspot.com, you'll see my opinion about Job Centre Plus here in the United Kingdom. I have had a little bit of uh, inconvenience uh, with them. Uh, not so much an inconvenience, like I anticipate there will be some inconvenience sooner rather than later because of their regulations. But I go into more detail on that on musingsofchristmas.blogspot.com. The address should be going to cost the bottom of the screen, assuming that I insert it in when editing this video when playing it back before you get to see it. Thanks to those of you who have seen my videos around the world in uh, recent days. I blog on a daily basis and YouTube allows me to see what videos are viewed on a daily basis. And indeed, it's now uh, 9.48pm here in Britain as I record this and because the viewing figures for yesterday have come through. Yesterday I blogged about uh, the film's Inception and Toy Story 3. I need a good number of people have seen that video but uh, despite that it's still middle ranking in my uh, ratings for yesterday because now that the kids are on half to and they're on holiday for the summer here in the United Kingdom. I think also in America as well. It means that lots of young people are going on the computer in the daytime and they're finding my videos and in particular watching my videos about football, so hello young people, <laughs> I hope to be posting some educational material on my video blog during the course of some holiday to uh, keep you uh, academically up to speed, and of course I'm doing a physics course with the Open University, so I could I could tell you tonight actually about quantum teleportation, but I'm not going to bother. <laughs> right, uh, have you ever found yourself that you run a black ink for your printer. You buy new black ink and then the computer says, we're not going to print because uh, you've got no ink. Because I have got ink, I've got a new black ink, I've also got a complete red and a complete blue. Turns out that my yellow is half empty. So because the yellow is half empty, the printer will not print. So off to the shop tomorrow uh, to get more yellow. Same shop as where I got the black from yesterday. I wish I'd known that earlier. Right, uh, main topic I'm going to talk about tonight, the 81st birthday of Durex, the condom manufacturer according to the internet, and apparently uh, uh, they have uh, today announced uh, that they are going to get involved in some kind of financial arrangement with a company called SSL, I think uh, SSL are buying out Durex or something like that. Uh, oh yeah, SSL is, uh, is an Anglo-Dutch company, it's being bought uh, 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 it's the owner of Durex to begin with, but it says on the internet that apparently uh, Durex is now produced largely in China, apparently the last factory to make Durex in Britain it is closing down. Well, um, if you're a regular, you know my opinion on uh, sex and promiscuity. I think that you should only have sex if you want a baby, if you have pointless sex with all sorts of people, and just for fun, that sort of thing, then all you end up with is AIDS and HIV. Because condoms, of course, are designed to uh, stop you from getting uh, sexually transmitted diseases, but people still get sexually transmitted diseases anyway because they're careless. Uh, in my opinion, the best way forward is abstinence, and of course, that's the view that the Americans agree with, particularly with the Silver Ring thing, though, where they encourage abstinence uh, before marriage. Um, it does say on this article that I've been reading on the internet that uh, apparently they paid 5,000 people across Britain, 50, 500 pounds, to evaluate its products. Well, disgusting, if you ask me. And of course, it says that the Church of England ruled in 1950 that it's okay for married couples to use condoms. Well, another instance, in my opinion, of how the Church of England uh, just panders to populist opinions and it deviates away from the teachings of the Bible, and it openly encourages sin, so people stay in uh, the, uh, uh, so that people continue to attend the Church of England, but I think, so what if no one attends church, because at the end of the day, the church is right and the public are wrong. Uh, so, uh, so they do excel 30% of the world's condoms, so that's interesting, that uh, is the world's largest condom manufacturer there are other companies who sell this product of sin. I myself 
would ne will never use a condom because as I mentioned a few moments ago, there is no point in having sex if you don't have children. You don't have s you shouldn't have sex for fun because the fun is a kind of uh, 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 sort of uh, it's uh, it's for your own uh, selfishness, no, for your own personal satisfaction, rather than making a baby, which is what sex is intended for. These people around the world to use these products as sort of just uh, having sex uh, to make themselves feel better. Of course, this then spirals onto the concept of rape, where the man is have where the man goes looking for the sex from a woman who doesn't want it, and that sort of thing. Uh, of course, uh, of course. If you have sex outside of marriage, there is an increased risk that you will be accused of sexual assault. Whereas, although you can be accused by your wife of sexual assault, it's very it's a very tenuous case if if you are accused in that circumstance. But uh, no, obviously, if you're if if you're like me, if you haven't got a girlfriend, if you're not having sex outside of marriage, it can be very lonely. But so what? Because I'd rather be lonely with no sex outside of marriage rather than being accused of rape or something ridiculous like that. Obviously I will have a wife eventually and we will have children eventually but uh, I'm in no hurry at the moment. I'm 27, many years ahead of me. I think it's particularly wrong there are young people having sex at the age of 18 and because people younger than, obviously people in addition to 18 also still younger than me, no, below the age of 27. And they're like, oh, let's get married now at 23, let's have children at the end of 23. No, they're sort of effectively putting barriers in the way the rest of their lives, I think. And uh, I think that's something they will come to regret. No, uh, marriage is something that, marriage and sex, the consequences of sex rather, is something you'll have to live with for the rest of your life. And of course, the, those consequences will still be around into your 40s, 50s, 60s and 70s. Because this, of course, overlaps with the high rates of divorce and the dwindling numbers of people getting married. I think the world is in a very sorry state because of products like Durex, uh, uh, meaning that uh, people can do things for fun and then dodge the consequences and I think that's uh, very sad. Okay, thanks for watching this video blog and I hope you'll join for my next video blog tomorrow. Obviously I blog on topics that are uh, dependent on the news. Uh, I was planning to blog about uh, developments at Liverpool Football Club recently, but uh, I think that will come in the next few days, uh, dependent on if there's nothing else for me to talk about. Uh, but uh, do visit my written blog, musings.christmas.blogspot.com, and also stay tuned because at the end there will be some uh, mentions as to how you can uh, become my friend through social networking sites that I'm on. And also you can visit my sister's sticker and trading card business as well at the address at the end of this video. Okay, thanks for joining me, and until next time, it's bye for now. Bye bye.